Hi everyone, welcome back to Be Rich. I think uh, Anand may join us in the next video. I hope Anand joins us because I'm sure a lot of you are waiting for Anand to come and talk more about what's happening globally in financial markets and the global economy, what's happening and the global situation. Yes, I do agree that Anand needs to come in and give you guys a brief on what's happening there. Till that point in time, I thought uh, we'll continue with Kesa and discuss further on how to build a financial plan and achieve financial goals. I thought we'll help Kesav come to an understanding on how to go about doing this. What do you say, Kesav? Sir, um, I don't know what to say there. Because uh, still now I didn't have any financial plan. Mm. I just now learning what is finance first, sir. Mm. So I'm waiting to hear from you what is how to build a financial plan. Okay. Yeah, sir. Agreed. Okay, sir. I'm not expecting you to have all this in place. Because mm. if you had it in place, you definitely would not be sitting here with me and doing a video. You'd be living your life of dreams. Correct? Correct. This sir. cannot be your dream, sitting and talking to a 45-year-old man. Not like this, sir. It is nice to talk. No, it would be better. <laughs> if I was 20 years younger and I was a woman, I guess, <laughs> Kesa would be more interested. Not <laughs> Dreams would come true then for Kesa. <laughs> to the topics. Kesa has been having a rough day today, guys. So, I'm just pulling his leg. Nothing uh, but just joke. Anyway, first thing, okay, the first step to securing your finance, financial future is you have to define financial goal. Okay? okay. The first step to building a solid financial plan is to define your goal. Okay, sir. Okay? This is true in anything. If I ask you to do something, go to Vatalagundu. Okay. You'll, you'll think, okay, I can go by bus. I can take a train, I mm. can catch Karthik and take his bike from him, ride off. You'll think of some ideas. Multiple options. Yeah. Huh. Right? Mm. So, first is the goal. You have to decide, okay, I'm going. This is what I want to achieve. Okay, sir. Mm. That is something you never thought of till date. Mm. And that's a basic problem with everybody at in your age, age level mm. is you don't think about it. That's the fundamental problem. You first need to define what is it that you want. Okay. What is it that you want to achieve? Like you say, you constantly are thinking about YOLO, YOLO. <laughs> you live life once. Who needs to save for tomorrow? But unfortunately, tomorrow is coming. Not everyone is fortunate to pass away today. Mm. Most of us wake up the next day and wonder what to do. Uh -huh. So, it's to define your financial goal. So, what would be your financial goal? What are your short-term goals and what are your long-term goals? Short-term goals are like what you want to achieve financially, maybe in the next one year. Okay. Long-term goals is what you want to achieve 10, year, 10, to 10 years. years. 20 years when you okay. retire. Hmm. Those are long-term goals. So, hmm. you should first write this down on a piece of paper. Take a piece of paper and say, okay, this year, 2024, I want this. I want to buy a new bike. Okay. Or I want to buy a new phone. Hmm. These are short-term goals. Okay. Then 10-year goal could be, I need to buy a house. Okay. I don't advise against it, but you can <laughs> be, you know, not, don't have to listen to everything I say. Mm -hmm. You can be like, I've heard all the advice, but for me, I need to have a house. Could be true. So, you can be that could be a 10 year goal. Mm, okay. How do you create the seed money to buy that? Mm. 20 year goal like that you set. You should write it all down. Okay, short term goal, long term goal. Yes, you should write okay. it on a piece of paper. Okay, sir. Okay, mm. you should not just keep it in your mind because if mm. you keep it in your mind, you'll forget it. True. If you write uh. it on a piece of paper and stick it in your bathroom wall in front of your toilet, well, every day when that. you're wondering what to do, that paper will be shining at you. Okay. It will constantly be reminding you. Okay, sir. Mm. Correct. Correct, sir. The most important things in life you should stick there mm. in front of your commode. Okay, don't put my photo there. <laughs> Financial goals you should always keep. No, okay, sir. Visible. No, okay, sir. The simple reason is it will keep on reminding you. Reinforcing mm. is a thing in psychology called reinforcing. By seeing it constantly, reading it constantly, writing it constantly, it will become a habit. Okay. It'll be re so, when next time when you want to spend money, you'll remember that you have these goals to achieve. Mm. Subconsciously, you'll stop wanting things because you you know, your, your mind remembers that you need to save it for this. Okay. Okay. So, you have to write your goals. Like okay. I said, short term, medium term, long, long term, term goals. Okay. Write them down. What's step two after you write, define your goals? This first, understand now, goal defining is the longest process in this whole thing. Okay. Out of the whole plan execution, setting the goal is what takes the most time. Time off. Uh -huh. I know you don't believe it, but I'll tell you a good example. Okay. You joined first standard. Uh. You went through all through school. And how many years of college did you do? Three years. Three years. Uh. Till now, 
you still don't know what you want to do with your life. Yeah. Right or wrong? Right. You've been working on that goal for 21 how many years? years? 21 years. You've been working on that goal. Mm. And you still don't know what you want what to do. Want to do. Mm. That's how hard it is to define goal. Okay. It's very easy to say, huh, define goal. <laughs> but when you think, it's very it's hard. So hard. Okay. 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 So, you'll spend a lot of time. Mm. So, take time to define these goals. Okay. Because once you set your goal, that's your goal. You shouldn't change it. Okay. You shouldn't change it like how you change weather. Okay. <laughs> okay, sir. Then what do you do next? So, then we have to take the step to reach the goals. How to achieve the goals? We have to ta lead some steps. And what is the step? It is a financial goal. A financial goal. We first have to save. We first have to control our spendings. We first have to put a budget. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Hands, hats off, man. It's, it's been working for you. Thank you, sir. It's taken you one year, but you're getting there. Okay. Little bit of fumbling, but now when I throw, toss the cricket ball at you, you're able to catch it. Okay. You're not having butterfingers anymore. So, creating a budget. So, create a budget. Once you have defined your financial goals, next step is create a budget. Okay. That means tracking your income, expenses, and allocating money towards your goal. Okay. Okay. For this, hmm. also use paper. Written. Yes. Oh. Right. Put on page. Hmm. Don't do like your phone. Okay. Hmm. Understood. Yeah, because every time you'll be rubbing your phone up and down, don't know where you've saved it. Then be like, wait, sir, I'm looking for it. <laughs> then I'll say, are you recording it? You'll be like, wait, today's I didn't write, sir. Let me enter today's. <laughs> then you'll try and remember, okay, what did I do today? <laughs> One chai. Then I lent Karthik 10 rupees. <laughs> <laughs> then you'll be like, I think that's all I did. Then suddenly be like, no, 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 I did this also. Mm. So you'll tend to forget things. So then I ask you, right thing, so. yeah, the money left in your hand is not matching what is left in your bank account. You'll be like, I forgot some expenses. Mm -hmm. So don't do that. Write it on a piece of paper. Okay, sir. Whenever you spend, take that thing out, write out it. and write it. Correct. Ah. So track your expenses. Okay, sir. And by tracking expenses, you'll know where all your money is going. Okay. And then you'll know how much money you want to save. Okay, sir. Right. Mm. Because depending on your goal, you mm. save that much. Okay. This is where you have to review your budget and make adjustments. Okay. After the first month, mm. see if you're on track to achieving your goal, one year goal. So let's say next year you need to buy a phone for one lakh. Okay. So you decide every month I need to save at least eight thousand to seven thousand rupees. I have to save to buy that phone. Mm. If you're not saving the eight to seven thousand rupees, I won't the get the first phone. month. Then you know you're not going to reach your goal. Yeah, sir. So immediately next month you have to cut down expenses to make sure that budget is there. Mm. Understood. Understood. That's sir. how you track expenses. Mm. Okay. Otherwise, you will not achieve. Mm -hmm. It's like anything, like calorie tracking, lose weight. What is the third thing which you do? So, you define your goal. Yeah, sir. You put budget. Yeah, sir. Now, you are writing expenses and you are keeping aside for your goal. Goal. Next, what do you do? So, the third thing is, I, what I think is, um, we have to see where are the places we are wasting money. That happens with budgeting. Okay. Then, we have to try to save more. No. no. I call it in case shit happens. That means uh, emergency fund. Mm, emergency cash. Yeah. We need to start putting something in a box for emergency. Mm. That's health insurance. Okay, if you don't have, uh, if you don't have any assets at all, then one maybe a life policy if you have dependents on you. Okay. If you have a girlfriend mm. who you have promised the earth, moon, and stars, maybe a general life insurance policy will also help. Okay. Sir. Okay. But building an emergency fund is important because it gives us. Part of your solid financial plan. Okay. This emergency fund should at least cover you for three to six months of living expenses. So one is insurance, medical thing and all that. Then the other thing is you keep aside some money in case you lose your job. In case you lose your business. Three to six months you can still continue without uh, managing your expenses. Ah, understood, sir. So it's creating a base. Mm. Anand will always say you should have at least 500 grams worth of gold. Yeah, sir. Because when we have lost the job, we can... Yes, you can go pledge your gold. Oh, pledge. Some emergency happens, you can go pledge your gold. Hmm. You need to move, suddenly tsunami comes to Chennai and you need to abandon Chennai and run. You can take a half a kilo of gold and run hmm. to Madurai and set up shop in Madurai. Hmm. It's a Chennai case, you become Madurai case. Sir. Yeah? Hmm. Understood, sir. Understood, right. sir. See, even God is agreeing with you, he's hammering you on top. So, that's an important thing. Okay. Is to put an emergency fund. Hmm. What is the fourth thing which you hate the most? Which you hate doing? Invest. Cha. You want have to start investing to hate it, Rayar. You okay. haven't even started investing. But this you've done and you continue doing, but you hate it. But you do it. 
not smoking something you should, which you have been doing but you hate doing it but you still do it it's like hurting yourself you take a knife and you cut your finger knowing that it's hurtful but you still do it because you derive some pleasure out of it i don't know why you do it but remember it's about money don't immediately say something and get yourself <laughs> caught on camera no sir no sir no, no. something related to money which you do which is bad for you but you do it all the time shall i you give up i give up sir you like sir you say this to me debt sir ah <laughs> reduce your debt okay okay that means yeah. get rid of your loans okay most important part of financial plan is in, before investing you should first clear your loans yes okay you do not invest until you close your loans until your loan okay till you're debt free no investing okay sir till you're debt free ah what does that mean close your loans that's it sir ah you so don't owe money to anybody okay personal bank okay friends okay. nobody you should owe any money to okay then you are ready to invest correct now comes step 5 what is step 5 what you are yet to do what you are yet to do investment ah now you understand ah. why you have not opened account i explained to you now why you have not opened account understood sir because you have not done step 1 2 3 4 mm. investing comes step 5 okay you have not prepared yourself that's why you're not there in step 5 and that's why you've not opened account that's why you're not thinking about investing you're not reading about investing you're not you don't care about investing because you've not done step 1 step 2 step 3 and step, step 4 and then step only in step 5 is investment yes okay so can you tell me what are all the five steps yeah sir first one is a uh, uh, set a financial goal very good second one is put a budget very good third one is uh, put a budget Your heroes come. <laughs> Please, yes. sir, I missed the third one. Sir, fourth one is clear. Ah, straight skipping the part and getting exactly. It. You can't go to the fourth. Okay, you're stuck because you're not remembering. You're thinking of your girlfriend. Sir, first goal. Ah, second budget. Okay, third emergency. Ah, emergency. Ah, fourth is closing your loans. Then comes investment. Correct. Okay, so mm. I need you to do this. Okay, sir. And which do you spend most? Will you spend most time on? Uh, first process. Okay. Uh, fa- goal. Ah, uh, setting your financial goal. Yes. So spend time. Okay. Do the goal. Okay, sir. Then do the budgeting. Okay. You know your incomes. Mm. Do the budgeting. Then save for emergency. Yes. Okay. Three to six months worth of funds you should have. Okay. Then clear rid of all your loans. Yes. Okay. Then you come to invest. Okay, sir. Right, case sir. Yeah, sir. But um, we will do the investment uh, soon, sir. So means uh, next month. But I am hopeful. Yes, I am hopeful that like how rivers change the course of the mountains. They carve mountains. Rivers can carve canyons or yes. on mountains. I am sure when me trickling water down Kesav's back, Kesav will suddenly become a different man. But this is just not on Kesav. This is on everybody. All of us. All of us need to do this. And building this kind of a solid financial plan will give you mental peace. Okay, hard to achieve. It's very easy to achieve. So it's so hard to achieve mental no, peace. No, yeah, no, no. It's very easy to achieve. You know why you don't achieve it? Why is it? Because you're lazy. What is preventing you? You cannot tell me it's hard to sit and think about your goals. That's rubbish. I can understand if I'm asking you to carry hundred kilos and walk from here to Mahabalipuram. You can say, sir, that is hard. But to sit in one corner of the room and spend twenty minutes every day thinking about your financial goals is hard. And sir i'm i'm not saying it is so hard to think the financial goals for 20 minutes sitting alone but sir mental peace i just thought nah, the mental peace but what is not giving you mental peace because so much things to handle like what i can't say sir you know but i can't say in front of the camera you know yes but, but all of that is self created case sir yeah sir but because all of that is created from what from desire that's why i can't uh... even financial goals and everything is desire but when you postpone it and put up thing you're able to manage it stress is good man stress nothing wrong in having little bit of stress in life problem is for you is you allow your stress to become too big you imagine your stress to be a big monster when it's not stress is like a friend okay you know what the job of stress is you know why you have anxiety no sir all animals have anxiety you know why okay. anxiety is your friend because it gives you a warning okay. when you're feeling anxious when you're going on the bike suddenly you see someone jump up on the road you feel anxious yeah sir it's warning you watch out Okay. So when you get up in the morning and you're feeling anxious about your day and about your future, that means your kuti kesa in your head is telling you, "Boss, wake up. Time to get your shit into order. You Nothing. can't be doing this anymore." 
when you see those lung cancer photos and you see the guys with face missing, half their face missing because of smoking cigarettes, you get scared. And when you look at that cigarette in your hand, you throw it away and you're like, oh man, I don't, I don't need this. That anxiety which you feel, yeah, sir. it's saving you. Okay. Problem is, you're trying to avoid your anxiety. When your warnings are telling you, your brain is warning you, saying, okay, sir, we need to do your finance, you need to plan it, you can't borrow like this. And you're feeling anxious, you're telling you, hey, don't bother me, man. So, it gets louder and louder and louder to the point where you're not able to sleep. Understood, sir. But it's very easy to do. Mm -hmm. If you do this, like I told you long ago, money doesn't do anything except one thing, it gives you freedom. Mm. Only one thing money can give you. What can it give you? Freedom. And you don't have mental pieces because you don't think you're free. Mm. You're constantly thinking you're not free. You're not free. I have to come to this stupid job. I have to stand here. I have to do this. Boss, when am I going to be free? I've been told, do education, do this, do that, do this job, make the money. Then freedom is coming. Freedom is coming. But God damn it, this freedom is not coming. No matter how hard I try, this freedom is not coming. But freedom is here. You're not taking the freedom. It is like a monkey who goes inside the cage and closes the cage and says, I'm inside the jail. Everybody's looking at you thinking, what a madman this is. Mm -hmm. All you need is open the jail and come out. So, don't worry about investing. Don't worry about demand account. Okay. Don't worry about shares. First, do these four steps. Okay, sir. What are the four steps? Budget, financial goal. Correct. Set financial financial goal. goal. Budget. Order is important. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. So, okay, you sir. have to wear your underwear first before the <laughs> pants. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Don't wear the pants first, then say, what do I do with this underwear? Okay, okay, okay. I got this, sir. Hmm. Set a financial goal, uh, budget, emergency cash, close all your loans, investment. Yes. Yeah, sir. You come and say, sir, I've done all this. And I want it written in a piece of? Paper. Correct. Okay. And where should you stick your goals? On the cupboard or in cupboard? front of? Not cupboard, commode. Commode. Commode, ra. Commode means, sir? Your toilet, ra. Ah, okay, sir. Oh you have God. Indian style or you have Western style? Western. Very good. Then you can relax. Indian style, very hard to relax. Okay. <laughs> Understood, sir. Understood? Understood, sir. Understood, sir. Okay. okay. Don't be like Chandra. Chandra is doing something else. <laughs> Don't be like him. Okay, sir. Okay. You stick it there. Okay. So, every day you look at it. Okay, sir. And you review it. Mm. It's there to tell you. How much I have to go. Yeah. Okay, sir. I'd say put it in the minute where you brush your teeth, but you don't brush your teeth, so there's no point saying this. Sir, sir. I'll do that, sir. This, this but don't keep it on your phone. Okay. And avoid and use your phone. Okay, sir. Spend less time on your phone. Okay, sir. Understood, sir. When you put it, spend time on your phone, put a timer and spend. Okay, sir. Because you waste too much time on your phone. All of you guys do. Understood, sir. Everything you say, understood. Sir, I seriously, hope you guys are sir, seriously, understood, sir. Today, we'll try to get to But the if you do these five steps, hmm. you'll be free. Because once you do this, you have clarity where you're going, how you're going. Where will we go? Yeah. Where you're going to land up. Mm. Where you will be. Then you can enjoy life. Okay, sir. Because if everything is set, mm. life will become very relaxed for you. No matter what happens in the market, whatever global news is there, you will be relaxed. Because you know where you're going. Mm. Right now, everything looks very scary for you. Okay, sir. I will set these things up and uh, try to do that, sir. Chalo. But I want you to do the goals first. Okay, sir. You come back and then we'll discuss your goals. Okay, sir. So, we'll help people understand what financial goals look like. Okay, we'll sir. We'll sit and fine-tune them. Okay, sir. You say, sir, this was my one-year goal, this is my five-year goal, this is this my ten-year ten year goal. goal. Ah. Then we'll see those goals make sense or not. Okay, sir. We'll dissect it and see. Is it a good goal? Okay, Sometimes sir. Sometimes we think it's a good goal, like buying a house. Hmm. <laughs> then we realize it's not such a good goal. Right? Hmm. Same way, I'll advise you on your goals. Okay, sir. Right? Hmm. We'll I think it. we have made some headway with Kesav finally. <laughs> we got Kesav on the right road. Five steps to Kesav being successful. Yeah. I'm going to set my financial goals. First, then I will do the rest. First, I have to set my financial goal. That is the hardest thing to do. I'm going to do that. So, this video gives you nice information and make you guys to set a financial goal. So, thank you for watching this video. Set your financial goals as soon as possible, but take time. Uh, it only makes the uh, goal uh, look good. Okay. <laughs> Do it fast, but take your time. <laughs> okay. Sounds definitely like my dad. <laughs> you sound like my dad, all right. <laughs> Do it fast, but take your time. <laughs> so, Everyone's like, what? <laughs> this is good as temple. <laughs> Thank you for watching today's video and hope you guys like this video. If you like this video, hit the like button, share and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell icon. If you didn't hit the bell icon, 
whenever you post a video, the video will not show up to you. Thank you for watching Be Rich. Today I want to tell you that I am going to be in, the, in Singapore and we are going to have an event on the 29th of April 2023. My team will let you know the location later as we come closer to the event. But the event is fixed on 29th at Singapore. Those who want to meet me in Singapore, either at the meeting or personally, can contact the WhatsApp number below or send a mail to the mail, mail mentioned below. I will see you in Singapore. Once again, thank you for your support for Be Rich. It's a great privilege and honor that so many of you in thousands have subscribed to my channel and have supported me. I have written two books in English, The Alchemy of Money and Ordinary Stocks, Extraordinary Profits. These books are published by us and are ready. If you want to procure a copy, send us a message to the WhatsApp number given below and my team would respond to you. If you want an Amazon Kindle copy, you can click the link below. Finally, those who wish to consult with me can send a mail to berichenglish at gmail.com. Once again, I thank you for your support. If you like this video, press the subscribe button of my channel, hit the like button and turn on the bell notification.